Hey everyone, and welcome to this Marvel Snap gameplay guide on Goose, a card that you can probably troll yourself pretty hard with in Marvel Snap. Now I joke about this because Goose is kind of in the category of like Cosmo, where you can play Cosmo and you play Goose, and then you're like, hey, um, I played you guys on turn two or turn three, and uh, I kind of wish I didn't because now you're ruining my game. Um, that happens a lot with Goose, honestly, less with Cosmo because you hold Cosmo for like blocking Hela or something like that, right? But with Goose, it's a little less obvious. Right, and uh, Goose works wonders in zoo decks, by the way, because you usually just throw cards under Goose. Have a Bishop, have an Angela, have an Ant-Man. It doesn't really matter. You got cards you can just throw under Goose all the time. But if you're playing combo decks and you're like, oh, look, it's Goose. I uh, I, I can't play my Infinite anymore. That's sad. Oh, I pulled Incredible Hulk. Oh, I can't play because of Goose. Hey, look, I'm using Nick Fury and I have all these six drops. I can't play them because of Goose. So Goose is tricky because if you Dempo Goose out on turn two, you kind of have to really even know like, okay, do I need this location? Do I need this location to be the place where I play a six drop or the, the opponent can't play a six drop? Like, does it matter? Do you block the opponent's six drop by playing here? It really takes, Goose requires you to really plan ahead. Playing them on two when you don't even know what the third location is, super risky but goose can be a really interesting compliment to like blocking out their ability to even play a card in the first place like if you know hell is being dropped on an invisible woman like you can literally just play goose and just prevent her from being played in that lane which is pretty cool right goose has a lot of really interesting synergy and can be really disruptive to the opponent as long as you're able to play around goose yourself which on occasion you'll find yourself in a situation where you grief yourself with your own little kitty anyways guys i hope you enjoy these clips they're a lot of fun they're recorded live on twitch i hope to see you there but regardless goose is pretty good and you'll see why right now we're against the same guy so we know he's playing dr doom uh we don't need on reveal effects for ant man quinjet Okay, we draw cards there. I'm willing to accept that. Um, let's put let's put Colossus mid here. Unfortunately, Ant Man is on an island all by himself. This this was like the worst location we could have pulled right now, but I guess we'll just do this. We didn't pull Ma anyway. We'll go wide, fine. Okay, it's Moon Knight. Magic's discarded, as is Wong, so our main combo card's gone. Okay. Honor reveal effects don't happen there. I can play Goose, I can play Cosmo here and then Goose there. And it prevents him from playing Doctor Doom. He literally just can't play him. It's a useless card, it's a dead card in his hand. Cosmo goes here, it's Wong there. So he's trying to do the Doctor Doom combo here. All right, so I pull Mr. Fantastic here, Goose here. He can't. He literally can't play the card. He can, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything. He literally has nowhere to do an on-reveal. I mean, neither do I. I literally can't play Spectrum either. We'll see if this pays off. He plays Mystique, but like Mystique's gonna copy Wong, and now he can't play Doom, Doctor Doom there. And it's the final turn, and I'm winning all the lanes. So I just... I guess I just no more here, and I just do this. So it's a very straightforward win, no? <clears throat> Dracula's a wild card. He just, okay, Apocalypse goes to a 12. He does win that lane. Uh, he So he wins. He wins there, but he, he lost everywhere else. So he, he, Dracula becomes Apocalypse, but he, he lost. He just loses. We didn't even do our combo. He just loses. Because of Goose. I, I think this is Goose's win. Uatu actually helping us here. Cards with highest power and draw a card. Okay, that does not matter. And we actually, do we play him on tempo, kind of revealing the fact that we, uh, we have vision? It's fine. Okay, this could be interesting for Goose because it kind of prevents... 
anyone for play. It allows us to play Maximus there as well. So I think we play Goose mid and Maximus mid, and then it basically makes it so that... no. One, I mean, the plus three also helps because it makes it so that... Uh, Shang-Chi Rex, guys. Just gets with Spider-Man, okay. Lady Sif's pretty big, but this um, Maximus, I think, is bigger. Let's Maximus here, then we can Scorpion Iceman next turn. The Maximus in a Scorpion play is pretty cool. It kind of gives maximum damage. Oh, this guy Iceman's me. Do not hit. Scorpion, he's Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi 5's fine. And then what we do is we... We could Ronin, but I think we actually have to... We have to do this. We have to Scorpion and we have to do into Iceman. Very interesting board. I think Ronan can carry this lane. So he goes he goes wide here. I hit him with that. He only plays one, so six. And the Iceman. Very disruptive here. It's rescue. So he's gonna get jabated into playing there. I think. I just play Ronan here. And I think it's hard for him to deal with this lane. Yes, sir. So Ronin drops, plus 10, Ghost Rider comes in, Spider-Man comes. We're not playing there anyway, bud. So your combo's for not. Okay, I'm gonna snap on him. We have we have Chavez. We can't even play Chavez there. But we can play. Unfortunately, Rogue doesn't help us too much either. But he's limited to what he can play too. So we are gonna play Rogue for the one. But he's kind of limited. And I, he didn't hit Apocalypse. He didn't really have anything with Hela. It was the Ghost Rider play he was banking on. Like, Goose kind of messing us up. But then again, he's being really restricted as to what he can play too. Yeah, there it is. Victory. He probably had to retreat because of Goose. I mean, Maximus is pretty good here. Uh, but Goose, while it is limiting us, he really doesn't know what's in our hand. And ultimately, Goose is preventing him from making a big play there. 